Well, agents and police SWAT teams raid a Hartford neighborhood this morning, arresting several people on drug charges. They're working to bring down a drug, the drug gang known as Los Solidos. News 8, Bob Wilson is live in Hartford tonight with a reaction from the community. Bob? It has been a massive raid. We're talking FBI, ATF. We're talking about a lot of different people involved in this, including Hartford Police, New Britain Police. And while they're saying it is such a big effort to take out a lot of drug dealers, alleged drug dealers, a lot of drug dens, it makes a big difference to the children who live next door. They are children playing hoops on Zion Street, just three doors down from what police are calling one of the biggest drug houses in the city. They're survivors. We're all survivors out here. On Zion Street, they do what they have to to survive. Do you feel safe on the streets? Uh, no. no. We're walking in numbers. If you live around here, you just get used to it. Yeah. You know. You can get used to all the drug activity? You don't have a choice. But at dawn, SWAT teams broke the early morning silence, hitting nearly a dozen locations in and around Hartford. Police say they arrested nine people at this location on Zion Street, seizing thousands and thousands of bags of heroin. I think it'll make a difference on this street. I think it'll make a difference temporarily, but it's a business. Of nearly the dozen suspects that were arrested, many of them appeared in court today, and they released the affidavit telling that the investigation started about four months ago back in December. It includes wiretaps, an FBI investigation, as well as the ATF, and they say a lot more arrests could be coming. The operation is... Uh, a combination of several municipalities, state, local, and federal resources. There's other operations currently going on in uh, the city of Hartford as well as other towns. In all, police are looking to arrest nearly 20 suspects. This is one of them in the blue hoodie just released from federal court. And because the FBI and ATF and the U.S. Attorney is involved, the charges will be federal. Charges that carry much stronger penalties with longer prison terms. I thought it was probably the best tax dollars that we've paid for. <laughs> Tonight, there is laughter on Zion Street. Kids still playing basketball, but parents think tonight they are a little safer. And we did talk to a lot of those parents coming off the school bus tonight uh, when they were getting out there. They actually, a lot of those kids saw the raid. A lot of them walked through the actual raid because they had the, the street blocked off there on their way to the bus. They say they do feel safer tonight. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in Hartford, News 8.